Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hustle loud, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the What's up everybody? <laughs> Once you pop, you can't stop Ah, uh, That's great I hope everybody's doing good So, what the hell are you on my shirt? What? Who knows? So, the video I put up Monday has been doing great. Like we're talking like a ton of views in a shorter period of time. That's awesome. I guess everybody was excited as I was to see the old Jeep play finally. Uh, it's doing good. And the funny thing is, I really haven't played anything 20 hertz or over in it. I think the uh, highest frequency I really played in it was uh 19 now of course that would be the low frequency in the song uh but god it did really good at the lows now i gotta find demo songs to play in it you know songs that sound really good hit good because every system likes different songs better uh so I have to deal with that all over again. The old system, I just knew. Like, I can put this song in. It's going to, like, slap in here. But now I got to, like, find all my songs again. Which is crazy. Uh-oh. We got a car coming. I wonder if it's a dump truck. It is a dump truck. <laughs> so people have been asking if I'm going to go to uh, the South of the Border World Finals. My plan is for me and the wife, we're planning on going there on Sunday. It's a Saturday and Sunday show. And I don't I don't feel like missing work on Saturday to go. My buddy Billy ain't going and which he blew a sub, so he's scrambling to get ready for ruckus with a new setup. And me and him, we we always normally go together and you know, we usually stay two days. We get a hotel room, hang out with everybody. So he's not going. I don't think anybody else from this area really is going to go. So we're just like, hell with it. We'll drive up that morning, drive home that evening. So it is what it is. We'll have a good time. Other than that, I don't have no damn news. I'm making a midweek video with like nothing to talk about. It is what it is. Uh, a lot of people, though, do ask the question, why does my amp cut off when I turn the volume up? Guy, that's not a question that we can really answer without diagnosing your system. I get that question so many times. Like, why does your amp cut out? I can tell you what you need to look at. Dump truck again. Uh, things you need to look at is all of your power connections. Like... Are the power wires in the amplifier nice and tight and snug, no corrosion? Is the power wire that's going to the power source or up to the battery, is it free of corrosion? You know, are you making a really good clean connection at the battery all the way back to the amplifier? Uh, is your fuse holder making a good connection? The number one cause of fuse holders melting is because you have a, shit, a shitty connection there, piss poor connection. Check that. These are all things you really need to check. Make sure every connection is solid. Most important one is the ground. You know, are you doing like most people and just using a seatbelt boat? A seatbelt boat a lot of times is a decent ground. Uh, I find it better to ground directly to the battery, but in the past, you know, when I was younger, I used seatbelt boats a lot. But... If you're using a seatbelt boat, you know, did you break out sandpaper or the old grinder and clean all the paint off of uh, the area around the threads? If you didn't, that could be your problem. If you're grounded somewhere else, did you clean that to bare metal before you grounded there? These are all things that are going to cause your amplifier to cut off when you try to turn volume up. 
Uh, other than that, I mean, you could have a bad RCA that, that's just pinched somewhere and it's letting a little bit of signal through. When you turn it up, it's starting to short. I've seen that happen. These are all issues that can cause an amplifier to cut off and they're the main ones. <laughs> Normally it has something to do with your power or ground wire. You know, somewhere in that chain, you have a bad connection. That's all I can tell you. There are other things that can cause it, but that would be like the number one. You know, check every wire going in the amp, out of the amp even, speaker wires. Where you have your subs connected, you could have a little strand here and a little strand there that are almost touching, or they are touching, barely. When you turn it up, they short out. Uh, all kind of weird things like that can happen, but that's the number one thing to look at. But I see so many people with their fuse holder melted, and they have no clue what went wrong. You have a bad connection there. It's not like solid or tight, whatever, but, you know, generally when you have a bad connection at an area, it builds up heat. Or if you're pushing too much current through something, it builds up heat. Which in that case, if you have a bad connection that could normally handle dump truck. Say you have a, a connection there that can normally handle 400 amps. And the connection at one of them joints on a whole power wire that would run from the battery to the amplifier. Say it can handle 400. You got that fuse holder in there. And for whatever reason, you know, you ain't get one side of it tight enough. Or you're using uh, the ones that I hate the worst with the connection like an amplifier where you push the strands in and tighten down an island boat. <laughs> so you have one of them and you only got it half ass tight. Or the wire that you put in there is all corroded from sitting over time. Now your 400 amp capable run is down to about 100 amp, if that because of a poor connection. That's how it works. When you have a poor connection, the amount of amperage you can go through it has fallen significantly. When that happens, that one joint trying to push all the amperage through there that is coming from the front, front battery to the amplifier or whatever you got on that run, it's trying to push more amps through there than, than can actually go through there. It starts building up heat. And it can cause your amp to cut off. So... That's a scenario that can happen. So yeah, check all your runs. But that's really the only subject I had for today. Other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess this weekend, uh, the brakes felt spongy in the blue Jeep. I might want to bleed the brakes, which ain't a big deal. Uh, so I need to do that. I need to uh, work on the front port. I'm just going to put a little bit of... Uh, trim work in it with a little bit of depth and see where that takes me. I won't have time to do the round over yet. I need to go to my buddy Billy's with a stick of PVC to do the round over. But, uh, for the most part, I can get the, uh, a little bit of framework put in there. Cause it don't look great. Everything else in my cabin looks pretty good. Uh, I did put lipstick on a pig though with that teal paint, but everything else is looking pretty good except for the port opening where it's still just raw unpainted. I said, I need to do something with it. And guys, that's really about it. I need to clean up my wiring, you know, but, and I got, I got to wire up like my wheel lights and underglow and fan. I got to put fans in. There's no way I can demo without the fans. Although the weather has been amazing out. Not even going to lie. It's been really nice. But, I just have some little things to do before I go to finals. Another dump truck. I got actually waved. Uh, so I have that going on. I am impressed by the new build. I'm not going to lie. I feel really good about it. I feel good about the way the, the vehicle looks now. I really like that. The performance so far has been uh, better than what I expected. I mean, that thing's playing low. It's pretty nasty. It broke the mirror on the other door, you know, on the passenger door. I did put that in. So, guys, yeah, if you have a, a big build that breaks shit, 
always carry E6000 with you because that stuff's awesome. Especially for doing like an on-the-spot fix. But uh, that's really all I got today, guys. I was hoping to throw you a better, more informative video about what's going on, but there ain't a whole lot going on. Just a little bit of shit I need to do to the blue Jeep, and then, God, when it gets done, what am I going to do videos on? You know, I got to do a little bit of cosmetic type stuff to the wife's build. That'll be a weekend, two at the most. Uh, I'm not going to have a whole lot to, of, of, like, stuff to do videos on. Until we start to build in here, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford to do that this winter. Because really, I need to do a lift on here, or more of a lift than what it has. Uh, what the hell is this? A fuel truck. But I need to do a bigger lift on here than what it has. I need to Raptor liner this thing black because it looks terrible. Uh, I need to replace the header panel because that one I got on Amazon, it ain't cutting it. You know, little bullshit like that's what this thing needs. And then the system. I'd really like to get rid of this Pioneer end dash. I just don't like Pioneers. I don't know what I'm going to do for sale. I don't know if I'm going to build a new box for the Leviathan. Uh, I had talked to Paul at G2 about six, six and a halfs, and there's no six, six and a halfs in stock. I don't even think there's like four tens. In, there's no Genesis really in stock. Uh, maybe a couple twelves, but that's it. So I don't know what I'm going to do for a sub. I have multiple amp choices. So that's good. I have the stuff to build a C-Max. That's good. No alternator. I got to get an alternator, better power wire. I think I have enough power wire at home to run a piece of 4 out through here or some 2 out welding cable. Right now, it's got CCA in it, which is fine, I guess. It depends how big alternator I put on here. But then I got to do mid, get mids and highs to put in here. So pretty much going to kind of redo the majority of this setup. But I figured it'd be kind of cool to build a no wall that you guys can be a part of. Because a lot of you guys have smaller builds that are no walls or whatever in your daily little trunk build. That's cool, guys. I had a dude hit me up and told me uh, in the comments on one of my videos that the majority of his setup was Scar. And that's because he likes to take his family on a vacation every year. And he really does the majority of the money he saves, he sets aside for that vacation. That is cool, dude. Family first, you know. You probably get more enjoyment seeing your kids happy and your wife happy by doing that than you do yourself from just bumping your radio on the way to work or whatever. That's cool. I had no issues with that. Nobody have an issue with that. You know, be happy with your system. At least you're like putting your family first and then you still have your hobby. That's what's really cool. So, yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. And I do try to go through the comments, guys. There's just a lot of times there's so many. And I work when I get off of work. I usually have a couple little things to, on the honey-do list, you know. And then when I finish them things, I do try to dedicate a little bit of time to my social media going through, just scrolling Facebook for a minute, YouTube comments, and see how videos are doing. And then I usually spend the, some time with the wife on the couch watching TV. No, I don't try. We try to have a little bit of time together, you know, just hanging out where I'm not stuck in a computer and she's not looking at her phone. So we try to do that together. So I don't get to the comments every night. I try to get to a couple though. And sometimes when I'm at work and free time, I try to. But other than that, guys, I mean, I have pretty full days. And then on my weekends, well, y'all know how that goes because you see the videos of my weekends. And I usually just get up in the morning on a weekend uh, sometimes I'll go out, grab breakfast and coffee at Starbucks, get supplies I need, go home, straight start working on the Jeep, work on it until it's so late in the evening that I basically run in, take a shower, and take the wife out to eat somewhere, and then I'm done for the evening. One of these days, I'd like to have a weekend day where I don't have anything to do. 
I mean, I got one. I guess I'll just that Sunday at World Finals. <laughs> That'd be a kind of no. That won't be a relaxing day at all. I'm gonna be nervous. Like, is the Jeep gonna be able to demo all day long? <laughs> You know, is it going to be able to do what it normally does at shows, which is like pull up and give demos, have cool down periods and then demos, you know, is it going to be able to do that? Am I going to blow something? Oh God, I hope not. I really hope not. But these are things that go through my mind. But anyway, guys, this video is getting too long, too damn drawn out. I really appreciate all you guys that watch this. I can't say that enough. My Patreon and uh, YouTube members, I love you guys. You all are awesome. You're you're helping make all this possible. Uh, but if you guys, those of you that are new to the channel, uh, go watch some of my other videos, man. If you like my content, if you're into car audio, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10K. You know, and I'm like at 8,700, so I'm getting pretty close to 10K. And... Uh, I feel it, dude. I, I know we're going to hit it someday. I don't think it's a YouTube accomplishment. Uh, you know, someday I'd like to have enough to get the little plate. I doubt it ever happened. I'm going to try. Uh, I did win an Emmy one time for, well, a fan sent me an Emmy. <laughs> but if you like this, you know, like the video, that does help get it in the recommended list. And honestly, my, my Jeep first turn on with base video for Monday uh, so many people liked it that it's staying in YouTube recommended. That is awesome. So just, if you like like my video, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it, guys. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace out, and as always, drink coffee and base on. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble.